George Santos may be gone. Congressman, what do you say to your constituents? But he isn't going away quietly. You gotta get out of my way. The man who last week became only the sixth member of the House of Representatives to be expelled says he plans to file ethics complaints against his ex-colleagues that led the charge to get him out. Among them, Staten Island's Nicole Maliotakis. We know that George Santos is a serial liar. I mean, he's obviously scorned since being expelled. It's unlikely those complaints go anywhere. But the vote that led to his removal revealed deep divisions within the GOP ahead of a busy sprint to the end of the year, where Congress is hoping to pass several important pieces of legislation, including aid to Israel, Ukraine and Taiwan, as well as a border security package. Those negotiations are making little progress. So instead, House leadership is focusing on something else. We have a duty to pursue the facts where they lead. The impeachment inquiry into President Joe Biden is already well underway, with Republicans accusing the president and his family of corrupt business deals. But so far, they've produced no hard evidence to back up their claims. For his part, the president has repeatedly denied any wrongdoing. That inquiry was launched without a vote under former Speaker Kevin McCarthy. But now Republicans are having trouble enforcing high-profile subpoenas of witnesses like the president's son, Hunter Biden. They acknowledge a formal vote would help move that forward. A formal impeachment inquiry vote on the floor will allow us to take it to the next necessary step. And I think it's something we have to do at this juncture. The move to formalize impeachment comes as the right wing members and Speaker Mike Johnson's ranks are getting increasingly antsy. His leadership is not conservative enough. And the Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said that he plans to put the supplemental aid package on the floor perhaps as early as this week. But if it does not include a border package that some Republicans can support, it likely cannot pass. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.